Previously on Shiny Lock with A Drive. <laughs> yes, Shiny Star! Let's go! Oh my god, I'm so hyped right now! Let's get it, baby! Turn up in the chat for the Shiny Lock, Shiny Star You! This was the one we wanted, the absolute most Shiny Star You, and we found it! And now I have to pray that we don't kill it somehow. Oh my goodness. I don't want to see. I'm so petrified. It could be like the worst thing in the world, or it's gonna be like a half penny. It's gonna be like, oh my god. Salamence! Oh my god. How do I beat a Salamence? He's got a Salamence, guys. Watch it be like Mega Salamence. <laughs> if he has a fly type move, I am so bodied right now. And he's got Intimidate! We have an insane attack stat. I'm gonna go over the Rock Tomb here just to be safe. We do hit it, and we should be able to knock out the Salamence, and we do. So Salamence goes down. All right, Father. What is your next Pokemon? Oh my goodness. Well, now at least we know that one of them was the Salamence. Spyro's gonna go to 28. Ernie's gonna go to 31, I like that. And his next Pokemon is a Metagross, why? Oh my god, how do I beat a Metagross now? And I just have to sacrifice a life on Ernie. He's gonna go for the Bullet Punch. That's, there was nothing I can do there. Oh no, Ernie. Oh my goodness, guys. I don't know. I just have to hope Fake Out is strong enough here. If it's not, Pinocchio is in a lot of trouble. I'll have to sacrifice another Pokemon. Oh! Oh my god, guys. I don't think I'm living a bullet punch. I gotta go into Frostbite, guys. Oh no. <laughs> go for Miracle Eye, please. Don't kill my Frostbite, dude. Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Frostbite, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, dude. I'm so sorry, dude. Oh, Spyro coming through. Wow. So we lost a life on Ernie and Frostbite against Norman. YouTube is your boy Dan, aka A Drive, I bring you guys episode 13 of the Pokemon Alpha Sapphire Randomizer Shiny Lock. If you guys are super duper hyped on this playthrough, show your love on that like button down below. 1,000 likes would be absolutely amazing. Remember, hitting that like goal on Tuesday and Thursday's episode will get you a bonus episode on Friday. Simple enough, right? So, if you missed the last episode, you need to go watch it because it was an absolute uh, decimation. Probably the best episode we've had. I'm going to teach Surf here to Polaris as we do need Surf to progress in the game here at this point. And uh, we've got plenty to do. I'm not going to be uh, let's see, what do I get rid of here? Probably just Bubble Beam, right? Because I mean, Surf is going to do more anyway. I'm not going to be picking the Shiny that we're going for today just yet. Uh, I think I'm actually going to do the route to the I guess it would be the East of Fortree City, so right after you get to Fortree City, kind of where you do the whole Kecleon thing uh, with with Mr. Steven, Mr. Steven Stone and the Kecleon, that's uh, that's where we're gonna actually get our encounter for the Randomizer Shiny Lock, guys. And I think what I'm gonna do for the next Shiny, since it'll be the sixth member of our team, is I believe I'm actually going to allow you guys to vote once again, kind of like you did when we got Frostbite. So I'll pick like four Pokemon and then let you guys vote. And then the final two Pokemon in the LP will not be voting. Those will just be uh, kind of like Nuzlocke random rules and whatever. So that's kind of like my thought process there. So I think we should be good and you can see Pinocchio is down to just the one life at this point in time uh, Ernie has has two lives frostbite has two lives left Spyro and Polaris are both doing just fine So at least we have that going for us, but unfortunately uh, on the last episode We did get a kite kind of decimated a little bit there So, you know with uh, with mr. Norman he had, a, he had a <laughs> if you haven't watched it You want to you want to pause right now and go watch the episode, but uh, I'm gonna spoil right now But he obviously saw the the previously I guess but oh my god Salamence and Metagross guys I we got so lucky too after looking at the move sets uh, it turns out that that Metagross actually had the uh, the move pursuit which would have killed Spyro at one point there too because we did switch out a little bit and stuff I mean I don't know if he was gonna predict the switch but I just think Polaris looks beautiful doesn't it guys I don't think he would have predicted the switch but you guys get the idea uh, we're actually like so not over leveled by any means this is this is interesting guys uh, let's go to Spyro 
Um, so we do have a question of the day today, too. We're going to talk a little bit about uh, kind of like the next Pokemon game. I'm getting antsy over here, guys. I'm getting antsy. I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, Pokemon Z, let's call it for the purpose of this discussion. Of course, we don't know what it's going to be called yet. It could be 7th Gen. It could be Pokemon Purple and... Uh, Op op octagons. I, that's not even a color. Um, who knows what color it's or what it's going to be? I have no idea. You know, it could be anything at this point in time. Um, but let's just assume there's going to be a new game that comes out at some point this year because I really do think it'll be this year. I think maybe in the fall. I'm actually kind of thinking fall sounds pretty good to me, and I'm not opposed to that by any means. I'm actually cool with it being in the fall because um, I'm selfish and I have some life stuff going on. Like, I'm getting married and stuff this summer, so I don't want it to happen. I don't want it to come out when I'm getting married. I don't want that to happen, because that's going to be kind of annoying, because I want to be able to play the game, and obviously my wedding is number one, and my honeymoon comes first, but, you know, I like playing Pokemon. I don't want to, you know. Anyway, you guys get the idea. So, let's talk a little bit about that. What feature do you want to see the most in the next game? So, take a moment to type out your uh, your thoughts in the comment section below. As always, I do read the comments, guys. I really do. So, show your uh, show your love down there and, and, and let me know your thoughts. But, because you guys have some really cool ideas sometimes. Um, in terms of kind of like what I'm thinking, I think I'm going to stay in on this banana sword here. I, I really feel like I could aerial ace it twice and kill it. Um, in terms of what I'm thinking, guys, I really, really feel like, one, I would love to have the ability for the Pokemon to follow you again. Uh, that was such an epic feature that they had in, um, in Heart Gold Soul Silver, one of my favorite features in this in the franchise in general, honestly. Like I really like the fact that the Pokemon follow you. It makes it even cooler when they're shinies because they look awesome when they follow you. We're not even faster than Atropius with Frostbite here. We are so slow. Um, it makes it even cooler when they follow you. And, and then the shiny and they follow you. That's such a cool feature. In all honesty, and then in terms of other features that I really liked that I would love to see back in the new games or back into a game is what they did next and why where you have the customizable clothing. I think everyone can agree here that the females had way better clothing options than the guys. I'm going to be honest with you guys, I even played through the storyline as a girl at one point because I felt like the clothing options were better, man. I just want to look pretty. I don't think there's anything wrong with that, man. I'm not even ashamed. Um, you know what I'm saying? So... I feel like that's definitely one of the things that people want. They had it, they put it in the game, people were super hyped about it, and then what happens? They take it out in Oras, and I understand why. They they, they said they wanted to really focus on Brennan and May uh, because of their importance in the storyline, but even so, like, come on, man. I feel like those two features should have been in the game. But here we go, we got a little cutscene here. Mr. Stone, what's up, buddy? Why, hello. We met in Granite Cave, didn't we? No, I remember it. It's A-Drive, right. Ah, it's good to see that you're doing uh, well on your journey here. You know A-Drive. In this vast world, there are many kinds of Pokemon. They come in many types. Should you raise different types? Or will you only raise a Pokemon of a certain type you like? So I have a theory here too. I'm going to pause really quickly. I don't know if this is explained in the manga or the anime or anything like that. But you know how the gym leaders only have one type of Pokemon for the most part? And for the most part, playing through the Pokemon games, you only find one type of Pokemon. Well, I, I have this theory and, and I think my theory might be based on again like... Pokemon might have said this in the manga or whatever. But the idea that it's really, really challenging to train and raise different kinds of Pokemon because you have to know a crazy amount of stuff. So only a very small percentage of Pokemon trainers can actually train and raise a multitude of different Pokemon from different types, uh, which makes the like the protagonist, someone like Ash or whatever, uh, so much better and and just more uh, you know I guess he's kind of a terrible battler in the anime, but he's 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 like he's like prodigy in a way in in terms of the fact that he's able to raise up these different kinds of Pokemon, uh, and you see that sometimes with some of the champions, but even the gym leaders in the Elite Four they they typically only raise the same kind of Pokemon, and I think that's because. You have to kind of become an expert in it because it's really hard to know how to... Anyway, that's just me trying to take Pokemon and make it more real. But, I don't know. You guys can let me know your thoughts on that too. But anyway, uh, will you raise only a Pokemon of a certain type you like? I wonder what you think as a Pokemon trainer. Not that it's anything I should be concerning myself with, but somehow I find myself wanting to know what you think. I suppose I should be going. I hope to see you again, though. So Steven's gonna get the heck out of here, but wait, there's more! For just $9.99, you too can get a Scrub Daddy brush. I don't know. Schwan! Hmm. Ah, it's Latios! The best HM slave in the game, man. Learns uh, surf, fly, dive, waterfall. It's perfect. It's very, very good. I think you probably even learned strength too, I would guess. Latios! Schwa! Shui! Do you, do you want us to soar somewhere with you? A-Drive, come with me. Let's ride on the back of this foreign Eon Pokemon. I believe that it sought us out for help. If that's the case, let's go! 
All right, so we're gonna hop on the back of our Latios. Of course, guys, I believe I am forced to add this to our party, but keep in mind it will not be used on the playthrough aside from a utility Pokemon. It will only be used as a utility Pokemon. This does not count for a playthrough. I will avoid using it in all battles and so on and so forth. So have no fear, but it will go straight to our party here and it will end up being an HM slave. So sorry, Latios, I love you and all, but that's just the nature of the beast. We've arrived, have we now? Thank you, Latios. It seems like there's a disturbance in the little trees over there. This is a really beautiful part of the game too with all the little waterfalls and stuff. I don't know what it is. Not quite unease, not quite fear, but there's something unsettled. It's an odd feeling, as though I'm walking a dream or an illusion. I once heard an odd fable. It was said that two Pokemon that live on this island guard some secret about the great form of evolution. Mega evolution. Could it be that some dangerous element is here because of that? Come on, let's get going. So, uh, we're gonna learn a little bit about Mega Evolution here on this island where, uh, where Mr. Latios and Latias are hanging out. The what mem de sit carve the thus. I don't actually know what that was supposed to be. Oh, those memories who, those mem- Those whose memories fade seek to carve them in their hearts. I, I don't, it's a little too deep for me. It's like a Tuesday morning, but it's kind of like a Monday morning because yesterday was a holiday in the US. It's kind of like a Monday morning for me right now. So, that's a little too much for me to comprehend right now, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. There's Latias, though, floating around. It's beautiful. If I were to describe such beauty in terms of a stone, it would be a sunstone. No, it goes beyond that. Isn't its brilliance like that of a dawnstone? It's as fantastic as a steel-type Pokemon. Ooh. Oh, by the way, we should be able to actually evolve Pinocchio very, very soon, guys. Uh, as we do get the Leaf Stone very soon, and, and I, I'd imagine most of you guys want me to evolve Pinocchio, especially since it only has one life. But uh, maybe we'll take a look at its level up pool and see if there's anything we really need to focus on before we evolve. Hmm, Team Aqua, isn't it? So Latias noticed they're coming, and that's why I called on us. Huh? What is this, you? Huh? Mr. Matt, sir, that pipsqueak over there is the kid that I hear keeps getting in our way. But, but rather than alluring, but that rather alluring gentleman with him, oh, I feel like I should know him from somewhere. Maybe he's a contest star or the, you know, the Elite Four champion. Maybe, maybe it's that guy. You would think I would know who that is, right? Like, he's pretty famous, I would guess, but. Oh, ho, oh, I have no time to worry about that. My name's Matt. That's Team Aqua Admin Matt to you. What I want from you is that Latios behind you there. But that Mega Stone, we of Team Aqua are definitely gonna need that transcendent power of Mega Evolution to achieve our ambitions. How about it? If you get out of our way, we won't rough you up. I'm not moving, dude. That's right, full points for the correct answer. I'll take part in this battle as well. Let's protect Latias from these beasts together. We cannot allow Latias or even a Megastone to fall into the hands of such villains. Oh, if you're really that stupid, then I have no choice but to squash you. All right, let's see what Aqua Admin Matt and his partner Team Aqua Grunt have. Mysterious Sisters Grunt and Black Bell Matt. They have a Tortuga and a Swampert. Do I have anything for Swampert, really, in all honesty? I mean, Pinocchio, like, bodies it. But we have a Barbarical and, obviously, Polaris, who is going to switch the heck out of here. That's a 31 Swampert, guys. That's not a joke. Um, so, here's the issue. Pinocchio is a great Pokemon to switch in here, but not when it could die in one hit. Uh, I think I have to go to Ernie, guys. What are the chances Tortuga... And Swampert beat Pinocchio right now. Oh my goodness. I don't know if it's worth the risk of going into Pinocchio. Ernie's just so much bulkier. This is the problem we're into now because Pinocchio only has one life, so we have to play Pinocchio so much differently than we did before. Whereas I would probably switch him in if I had two lives. Since I only have one life, I have to kind of save him here, and it's a little too risky to bring him in. But he's gonna go for Barbarical attacks me. So, you know what, Barbarical? You need to calm down, buddy. All right, we are going after this Tortuga because he's about to get a stat boost. Mud shot. So I could have easily switched there. We would have resisted it, but hopefully we don't get the accuracy. Oh, we got a speed drop. That's fine. What do you have? He's got sticky black sludge. Why does Barbarical have ba black sludge? This this matchup seems so stacked against me. All right, I'm going to go for the Tortuga, actually, um, because I feel like going for the Tortuga, I can get rid of one thing off the field, and that means we could, like, double our attacks. It's gonna go for Brine, so the Tortuga attacked the uh, Swampert there. So this is just like a free-for-all for everyone right now. Uh, Swampert attacks the Barbarical instead of me, which is really nice. It's level 35 too, it's supposed to be Matang, I believe. 
But Barbarical is pretty cool, and it's got ba Black Sludge, which I find is just hilarious. Um, okay, so I think I could just go for another Storm Throw here, get rid of the Tortuga, and then we're just left with Swamper, which sounds a lot better. So he, he's going to just clamp him. I don't think that's going to kill, though. Oh, it does! So hopefully my uh, my Storm Throw will actually hit the Swamper instead. Uh, Polaris growing some experience. Yeah, we are going to hit him, and I'm faster for some reason. If he goes for counter, I'm done. Mud shot. Oh, I'm just faster, I guess. And Barbarical goes down. I'm curious what Steven's next Pokemon is going to be. Be something good. Oh, does he not have anything else? Is that it for him? Uh, I guess I'm staying in here then. Let's go for another Storm Throw. Maybe we can knock this thing out. Mm -mm. Not quite there, but we skillfully dodged the Mud Shot, which is really nice. So now I do get to knock him out with Storm Throw. I'm really surprised that that was it. Um, we got attacked by the Barbarical, which is lovely. But we are going to be able to beat uh, the Swampert and his Tortuga. Whew. Polaris, there you go. There's the experience I wanted for Polaris. Really got to get this thing leveled up. Definitely one of my focuses right now is to get the Polaris leveled up. Eep! Oh ho, strong, ain't ya? You're an interesting pug, too. I'll give you that. I love interesting, strong dudes. That's why I love my bro, Archie. We've had some very awkward moments on this playthrough. You know what? I believe in equality, man. And that's why I'm going to start loving you from now on, too. Next time I'll see you, I'll smash you up real good, okay? Let's get out of here, you dull grunt. Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah, sir. This guy's pretty intense. Nah. Times like this, I kind of I kind of wish my... No, I'm just kidding. Uh, good work, A-Drive. That's right. We should first heal up our Pokemon that fought on our behalf, shouldn't we? Yeah, you got to heal up your Barbarical, dude. The team's health is restored. You performed spectacularly. We were able to protect both this wondrous Pokemon and Megastone thanks to you. And it looks as though Latias may have recognized you as a trainer worthy of its trust. Looks like it's offering you its allegiance. I believe it's trying to show you that it wants to go on with you in a, in a journey. And Latias just straight up joins the team, ladies and gentlemen. Would you like to give a nickname to Latias? I am going to name it after my friend, Anna. So we are going to name it Alora, which is after one of my Twitch subscribers and friends, Alora Light. I actually just had dinner with her recently. But I'd like to name it Alora, yes. Yeah, me, my fiance, Galactic Elliot, uh, Mystic Moto, and Alora Light all went to dinner uh, a couple days ago, actually. It was really cool. So, shouts to Alora. The reason why I named it that is my, I actually called a Shiny Latias, so we named it Alora Light way back in the day. So, you should take this from me. Ooh, we're going to learn Mega Evolution, baby. So now... We have uh, two Pokemon on our team that can Mega Evolve, just to clarify. Frostbite, once it evolves into a Glalie, will be able to Mega Evolve. We do receive his Mega Stone in Shoal Cave, which is prior to, uh, I believe, the seventh gym. Um, so, actually, one more gym. And then Spyro can get its Mega Stone, but that's prior to the Elite Four because it's in Meteor Falls. So, we have to have Waterfall for that. And I think we have to beat the, the last gym. So, we'll have two Megas on our team. With the Mega Bracelet that I just gave you and the Mega Stones that a Pokemon may hold, your Pokemon will be able to achieve a power boost, quite unlike any usual form of evolution, but only if you are bound by great affection, you will be able to achieve Mega Evolution. I suggest you, suggest you try with Latias the next time you have a chance to battle. Mega Evolution is a phenomena that has been shrouded in mystery. What's a Mega Stone? What's a Keystone? The process by which bonds between Pokemon and people manifest in tangible power. How do we explain that? Hmm, I hope that Mega Bracelet I just gave you might bring us one step closer to finding the answer to these questions. If that settles that, should we be heading back, together with Latios, waiting so patiently for us there? How did Latios just straight chill in the front while, like, you know, the Aqua Admins just walked right by it? Who knows? And why can't I just take Latios back? I got Latios now. It's on my team. It's on my squadron. Alright, so anyway, we are back here. Thank you for your help, A-Drive. Perhaps it's trying to tell you to take good care of Latias. It's sister, girlfriend, wifey. In the end, you are far greater help than I expected you might be. I expect that you and your team uh, will be able to boast, test that on Route 119 uh, right ahead. Until then, A-Drive, I'll see you next time. Alrighty then. So, this route ahead, guys, is going to be very, very challenging. So I hope you guys are ready to rock and roll because this is no joke. Now, keep in mind, we are not actually getting an encounter in the grass here. Uh, I'm not gonna count it for the shiny lock, so don't really worry about what we, what we run into. But we are gonna run into a Mawile, of course. So I do have to switch here. I probably shouldn't lead with Polaris. I'm just trying to get it leveled up here a little bit more. It's level 21. Maybe I can run. Maybe I can just run from this thing. I'm, I'm pretty fast, so... Yeah, we just get away. Cool. Um... 
So at least we could do that. Now, I think there's a couple trainers that I do want to take on. Some of these trainers I am going to take on. There's also the Berry Master's Garden over here. There's a trainer right here, too, evidently. Take flight, my bird Pokemon. All right, let's see what we got here. We are going to take on some trainers um, and kind of progress a little bit here. Uh, he's got a Bergmite. Do I think I could beat a Bergmite with my little Polaris? Probably not. I mean, maybe. Bergmite's probably not that strong. What level is it? 26. Ooh. Yeah, I got to switch here. Uh, this is a great opportunity for Ernie, I would say. Oh, there's our uh, Latias. We should take a look at it. I do have to switch it out in the PC at some point, but for now, we could just hold it on our team. It's not going to hurt anything. Um, I think I could probably do takedown. What is it? Normal gem boosted? Normal gem boosted takedown, ladies and gentlemen. Look how much that did. It's going to take the recoil. I think I just, just hit him with the storm throw. I don't know if this is going to kill, but at least he doesn't have sturdy now. Oh, that's just going to straight up just body him. Goodbye. See you later, Bergmite. Cool Pokemon, though. Polaris grows to level 20. I dig it. Here comes Mantine. All right, so I know Mantine does get flying type moves, but I think my play here is actually just to go for the Rock Tomb anyway. He's got Water Pulse. Uh, we know Ernie's got Super Bulk, so he's going to eat that up. Just no confusion. That was a crit. I missed the Rock Tomb. You better not have Air Slash. He's got Water Pulse again. It won't be a crit this time, though. And we got the Rock Tomb again. This might be a 2 KO. Oh, yeah. And it's going to get the speed drop. Now all I have to do is... What kind of berry do you have? Citrus? Oran? Figgy. I don't even know what Figgy berries do. But I miss, or I don't miss the Rock Tomb, which is nice. And that'll knock out the Mantine. Whew. That was pretty scary. It could have had Air Slash. It actually could have beat us there, but that's all right. So Ernie's going to grow. Polaris wasn't in that match. That's fine. There is a trainer over here that's got, like, this ridiculously high-level Pokemon. And while it's probably in my best interest to not take them on, I'm going to anyway. And we're just going to see what happens. I'm kind of interested. Let's go look at our uh, our Latias as well, too, really quick. Let's go take a look and see what Latias is working with. What do you got over here? You are... What are you? Minus speed plus death. That's pretty bad. So that's sassy nature. Alert to sound. So flawless speed, at least. So that's uh, flawless speed, but minus speed nature. So pretty bad. Pretty bad. I mean... It's, I'm not actually going to use it, so... All right, what is this lady doing? My hobby is Pokemon and me. Ah, that's one of those features that I don't use at all. It's kind of cool, but... For a sewed girl, Miley, she's got a Phantomp. Ooh, look at the Phantomp. This might be a good idea. If, uh, good time for Pinocchio to come in. Pinocchio is pretty safe against Phantomp, and I could go for Thief. So I'm thinking that's probably the play. Let's try that. I think, Fan I think Pinocchio is fine against the Phantom. The only thing it could really do to me is, like, uh, burn me or something, I think. So, what does he got? He's going to go for Faint Attack. So, luckily for us, we resist that. Even Pinocchio can eat that up. And Pinocchio is frail as all heck, man. All right. See how much this Thief does. Almost, man. Almost. Almost knocked him out. I love Pinocchio, though. I think we definitely got to evolve it. I think we definitely... We're going to get the Leaf Stone probably on the next episode. Definitely got to evolve it. I just got to remember to grab it. I have to do some research and find out where we get the water stone, too. Because I would like to evolve Staryu, but probably not until way later. Here's an Azumarill. Okay, so this is problematic. Nothing on my team can take this thing on. Not a single thing. If it goes for play rough right now, I lose a Pokemon. <sighs> uh, don't mind me while I debate here what we do. Um... I don't want to take a play rough and lose Pinocchio. I really don't. I really don't. Do I think Leaf Blade will kill? I should have used Growth on the last Pokemon. Spyro comes in. It gets bodied. It gets absolutely bodied. It just dies to a water move. Uh, Frostbite just dies. Ernie doesn't want to take a hit. I mean, I can go to Frostbite and start headbutting and just hoping for flinches. I think I have to. I have to go to Frostbite. Pinocchio's only got one life, man. I could bring Pinocchio in once this Ozzy is a little weaker, but I just don't trust the Leaf Blade to kill. And it could be Sap Zipper too. He misses the play rough. Wow. He could be Sap Zipper too, so I have to keep that in mind. I'm going to go for the Ice of Wind to slow him down because he is faster. He, I skillfully dodge both, both an Aquatel and a play rough. That is huge. And we're going to get the, the speed drop. So I have the opportunity to at least flinch him, but this is really bad. I got to get some damage off on this thing. This thing is scary, man. Because it could be Sap Saber. It could be... He missed again. Oh, my goodness. He might... If he's huge power, though, his Aqua Tail might actually even knock us out. Here's the play rough. This might knock us out. Oh, no. We, we actually ate that. 
We actually ate that. So I don't think he's uh, he's huge power. I really don't. Um, that leads me to believe that I can live another one. So I'm going to go for headbutt again. And maybe we'll get some flinches. Quit. Aqua Tail. Oh my god, Frostbite, you legend. Okay, so I have to switch here. I think Ernie is a safe switch, kind of. I think Ernie's the safest switch. Pinocchio can't come in on a play rough, it dies, so I gotta go to Ernie. Ernie can live a play rough at least. I think Ernie can at least live a play rough. And I can definitely live the Aqua Tail. He's gonna go for the Aqua Tail, which is best case scenario. I'm gonna eat that. And I should be faster so I can body slam here. And I, I don't believe he's huge power. He's gonna play rough. And we, we live it, but he's not huge power. We got really lucky there. But I also got really lucky I didn't go for the Leaf Blade because had I Leaf Bladed and he was Sap Sipper, we would have been in a lot of trouble. He could have been Thick Fat too. So that's the thing about Azu. It's got three viable abilities, man. It, it like can do any of those things. Now, obviously, huge power is like the main competitive one, but Sap Sipper isn't like a terrible idea. And obviously, having the ability to. Um, uh, to have huge, uh, thick fat is also nice too because you can sponge up, you know, fire and ice type attacks really, really well. Like, really, really well. Especially, like, I'm thinking from a GBA perspective here. Um, so here's, uh, the next route I was talking about. And there's a trader. Excuse me, there's two trainers. I think she gives you Dazzling Gleam. Yeah, so she's gonna give me the TM for Dazzling Gleam. Really cool TM. I don't think there's anything on my team that could benefit from it. Uh, maybe Polaris can actually. And there's a, there's some twins here. So I do want to take on the twins. And I think we could probably teach Dazzling Gleam to Staryu. Yeah, that's cool. That's a cool move. I dig it. We get rid of Swift, because Swift isn't really going to do anything to us. And Dazzling Gleam could be really cool. And I think it hits everything, too. So let's get rid of Swift. I want to keep Psy Wave for now. We'll switch it out for something better later. Let me look through my TMs really quick, too. See if there's anything good. We got uh, Aerial Ace, Strategy Taught. Uh, double Team would actually be kind of decent, but I'm going to pass on that for now. No one learns that. Steel Wing I could put on uh, Spyro, but that's all right. And Bulk Up would be nice, but I don't want to waste the move slot. So, all right, let's see what this uh, this double battle is going to be here. I think regularly they have Beautifly and Dust Ox because I remember losing a Pokemon to them when Joey and I did the Cage Lock. So, now they have a Rotom and a Scorpy, and I'm hoping it's regular Rotom. No, it's Rotom Cut. Wow, how cool is that, right? So, how often is it that you actually see... You know, like, uh, different Rotom forms and stuff in, in game. So, I do have to switch here, of course. Um, I think we should probably go into, uh, Ernie. I should probably go into Ernie. And Rotom is definitely problematic because it does have the potential to hit us pretty hard with an Electro-type move. It's level 35 as well, so I, I a million percent am about to lose a Pokemon right now. Uh, that's not cool. I have to Rock Tomb, I think, the, the Rotom to slow it down because it's gonna be really fast otherwise. And I don't think two air is gonna kill it, and I need to slow it down for the rest of my team. So I'm gonna try to uh, lower the Rotom a little bit, because it being at level 35 is insane. We're lucky that's not a Drapion, guys, because that would be insanity. And let's hope it doesn't have any good electric moves. It might only have like Shockwave, which might not be terrible. We're gonna slow it down, which will give Ernie a chance to hit him at least. There's the Shockwave. This is gonna hit us. Uh, he actually goes for Ernie. Thank you for that. He's gonna go for the T-Spikes. Ooh, baby. Okay, now, good news is, um, there's some good news here. Storm throw on the Rotom, because it's going to hit it pretty hard. And I can actually aerial ace the Scorpy, and I don't think it's going to kill, but it is super effective, because Scorpy's actually bug type. Oh, it doesn't do anything. Oh my god, that thing is bulky. Don't go for Shockwave on me. Shockwave. Don't go for, for Spyro. He goes for Ernie again. That's a, that wasn't a crit. Please hit this thing really hard. Oh my goodness. That's not good. I need to, uh, like, not die here, because I don't really have a lot of health. Uh, I have to use a Super Potion on Ernie, and I want to switch out, but there's Toxic Spikes in the field, so that doesn't really make sense. So I think what I'm going to do is actually go for the Bite on the Rotom, and the reason why is I want that 30% flinch chance here. I really need to flinch this thing, because it's seeming like Scorpy is less of a threat, whereas the Rotom is obviously very, very problematic, and if I can get a flinch here... That could be really good. Even though Scorpy's setting up, it's less of a threat. Please get the flinch against the Rotom. Shockwave. Who did he go for? He keeps going for Ernie. Uh, okay, so I need to heal up Ernie again. If Ernie gets double attacked here, we're going to be in trouble. My team is so low leveled, guys. These are 35. Now, this route is a little different. It, it's like a separate route, but do I think Aerial Ace kills from that range? 
It's really close, guys. I'm gonna go for it. It's gotta kill. That's the only question. That's the only answer. It's gotta kill. We have to kill this thing. This double battle is very scary. It doesn't. He goes for Poison Fang on Ernie. That means Shockwave could kill Ernie. That means Shockwave could kill Ernie. Oh, 7 HP. Oh my goodness. Okay, I have to use another. I hate to do the potion spamming, guys, but it's my only option here. Success is my only option. Failure is not. We're going to go for the air release and kill the Rotom. And I should be able to live another hit with Ernie here. Uh, I could have switched out to Frostbite or something like that. Um, but it just it just wasn't worth it, especially with that Rotom there. We finally get rid of the Rotom. It's going to be a really good experience for Polaris, at least. And Ernie's going to grow a level, which is nice. This is a plus one Scorpy with Home Claws, so definitely got to be careful. I want to learn Bulk Up. I just saw the TM for that. I really like our moveset, aside from Rock Smash, but... That's utility. You kind of need that. So let's not learn. I have the TM for it anyway. Polaris is going to grow to 21. Thank you. Poison Fang. That's a crit. And that's... No! Come on, dude. He crit us. He crit us, dude. What am I going to do? He crit us. <sighs> I thought we were going to get out of this match. Okay, and he crits us. Wow. And of course, I get Toxic Spike Poison there. I thought I would be able to get out. Like, look how much this aerial is did to him before. Like, you saw that, guys. It barely, it did, did 30%. I can win this match now, but we just lost a life on Ernie, which is not good at all. Not good at all. Not good. It's just not good. Uh, I can't fake it again. I guess we got to go for, uh, for Thief and Aerial Ace, and that'll knock him out. These trainers, man, level 35. There's one other trainer who's got like level 35, and I, I want to take her on too, and that will wrap up there. There's one other trainer, I just want to take her on uh, and, and try to beat her, even though like we're at a disadvantage. Ah, oh, that was so annoying. Wow. So Ernie is down to just two uh, one life now, so now we have uh, two Pokemon on the brink of extinction here. Wow. Okay, so let's use these berries here, at least heal him up. I luckily, for us, did buy three revives, so I can use a revive on Ernie, uh, obviously, because he does have another life. But now we are down to two Pokemon with only one life, so now, all of a sudden, things are getting a lot more interesting very, very quickly, guys. So, now again, these trainers are kind of the exception, because this is a, a separate route, so normally the Pokemon aren't going to be this high. Like, when we continue to the, the north of the route here, up to Fortree, the Pokemon aren't going to be up to 30, I don't think. So, Scuba Diver, Violet has a Vaporeon. Why do you have a Vaporeon? Like, why? Why do you have a Vaporeon? A Pokemon that uh, conveniently bodies my team. Uh, level 36 Vaporeon, guys. Alrighty. Well, obviously I have to switch out here. Ernie is a decent switch in, just because of its bulk. Frostbite can't come in, Spiral can't come in, Pinocchio can't come in right away. It's got to be able to fake out and then Leaf Blade. So, Ernie is our option. And hopefully I can Rock Tomb this thing and then maybe Paralyze it, or maybe just go for the Paralyze up first. Maybe I'll go for Ice Beam. He's gonna go for the Aqua Ring, so that's not bad. I can dig that. This is actually supposed to be a Vile Plume, and of course it's a Vaporeon, which is even harder. Uh, I think I'm gonna go for the uh, the Rock Tomb to make sure I have speed it, and then we're gonna Body Slam. Acid Armor. Well, luckily we have Storm Throw, which always crits, so at least I have that going for me. So Acid Armor, Aqua Ring. So I don't care if he Acid Armor's actually. Look at that Aqua Ring right there. All right, let's go for the Para, para with the Body Slam. 30% chance. Don't get it. He goes for acid armor. Okay, maybe I should just uh, start hitting him with um, with storm throws. Just because he's already gaining health here. I'm already faster. So the para probably won't do too much to me. And at least I can hit him with uh, with like a move that doesn't mine the acid armor. Looks like a 3 KO. He's got a roar beam. So he probably has that. And then maybe another water move like, uh, like water pulse. Wow, that did a lot too. That wasn't even a joke. We needed that, that uh, speed drop earlier. Otherwise we'd be in trouble. He's gonna go for Aurora Beam again, so assuming nothing crazy like a freeze here, we should be in decent shape to knock him out. I think one more Storm Throw will do the trick. Uh, and if it doesn't, we are in a lot of trouble because we're gonna die to another Aurora Beam. <sighs> so that is that. We got through the Vaporeon, and now we're at the Berry Master's house. Polaris is gonna go to level 22, wants to learn Camouflage. Probably gonna pass on that. Cool move, though. Um, and we beat Scuba Diver Violet. We're able to beat the, uh, the double battle there. 
And uh, we got our Mega Stone. We have the ability to Mega Evolve now. We're at the Berry Master's house. And this is a great time for us to wrap up here. Uh, unfortunately, losing that life on Ernie there to the double battle. But uh, I don't think there was much else I could do. Our team needs Polaris to level up real quick. Um, but that is going to be that, guys. If you could, show your love on that like down below. Like button down below. 1,000 likes for this episode. Uh, we're going to try to do that for today and Thursday. Get that bonus episode Friday, of course. And uh, last but not least, don't forget our question of the day. Subscribe if you're new. My name is Dan. I'll go by A Drive. And I'll see you guys on Thursday. Thursday with the Pokemon Alpha Sapphire Randomizer Shiny Lock. Peace.